ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! All right, welcome to another edition of JTJU Cage Match, where we take a look at a max base and attack it with two different styles with some of our two best clashers to see which style is the best style. In this case, we're taking a look at this Max Town Hall 8 base with the moat surround. The question is, is it better for a 99 Dragoon or a Go We Ho? Our champions, McGee and Pavarez, are entering the arena, so place your bets. Pavarez, you're up first. Let's go. All right, let's pause this real quick. This is one of two of our cage match contestants, Rockthar, with his... 99 Dragoon specialty. We went to the best to demonstrate this. But uh, what we, we typically would be doing in looking at this base is probably avoiding air, right? So one might ask, why are we even back at the 99 Dragoon? And that's why the cage match is being done is that uh, we when we go through air and we toggle out because of the max ADs, we then go to two other branches. One would be looking at hogs, and the next would be looking at go wipe style. But in the hog branch, you need to be looking for, you know, some solid hog runs. And as you look around the outer edge, right, which is where we, where we typically look for it, um, you see double big bomb locations potentially here and here. You see a lot of spring traps on the axis for double big bombs. So you could be potentially having headaches in a lot of places. Right, so figuring out where the risk point is is kind of hard. In that in that case, so from a first blush perspective, the hog style is not good. So then you toggle out of hogs and you go to go wipe. And with go wipe, we're usually looking for a pretty dense base, which this is not, right? Or we're looking for somewhere that you know the ads are so far in that the defenses are kind of exposed to a snipe model where we can get into the mid, blow it up. Then we can loon everything else. That's hard to do at Town Hall 8. There's not a, it's really, there's a big difference between it, doing that Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9. So again, it's something you probably would avoid to. So if you then have passed through hogs and go wipe with this base, you're right back to air. And the best style for this type of base, which is moat in an air style, is 99 Dragoon. At least that's what our tree says through our experience. So. Let's take a watch of Rockthar dropping the hammer with air and see see what's what. So he comes through first and he uh, does some cuts at 12 and 3, looks like. So he's going to be trying to basically create cuts at this depth and then drive from here, I would expect. Uh, and that's working pretty well. I mean, he's got... All right now I can see a funnel. Oh, now he's got a good funnel there. So that's going to be working out pretty well for him. Um, and in, in they come. So his main force, he has dropped all the dragons at this point. Let's pause it for a second. So there's his first two heals, or his first two spells going down. Uh, you know, the rage and the heal. So he's going to be moving, he's trying to move his drag through here with that rage heal. And then his loons will come behind and pick up this last AD, most likely. So let's resume. Clear that out. And you see, sure enough, the drags that were in mid oh, didn't do exactly what I thought. They're moving off, but the other dragon did take that part out. That guy's right here right now. He ended up taking it out. So you can see there that I don't think he actually had planned on the loons doing that number. He was hoping, you know, he probably, if he would have done it again, he probably would have come from more from this side because then he knows he's going to at least, even if that goes down, then he'll scrape here. If it stays in, he'll get it. Um, but it worked out, so you know, let's not nitpick. Let's not nitpick the man. He ends up three starring. So, and, and now it's just he's just moving around the bench, right? So he's got Teslas remaining in the AD towers. There's nothing here. And what is that? Like six, six dragons are left. No four. There's my dog. Improving of Rockstar's 99 are good. And then he just goes around the horn, takes it out. So I think, you know, if I were to look at this, I mean, it, it looked pretty solid. I mean, it, we didn't really lose a lot of dragons, didn't lose a lot of balloons. Well, let's take a look, I guess, at the other one and see what that looks like. 
All right, so let's pause this right here before we get going. So this is the second of two for the cage match. In this case, we're looking at a Go Wee Ho uh, instead of the one we looked at before, which is a 99 Dragoon, to try to figure out which one is better. Uh, if you recall from the conversation with the 99 Dragoon, the big thing that toggled them back to air was that, yeah, there was an 8666, but they couldn't see the hog padding. So they swapped out a hog padding and kept on going, which then brought them back to air. And the reason why they didn't see the hog padding is they focused mostly here on the outer ring, which, yes, is not very good for hog padding. Notice all the spring trap locations and big bomb locations. My finger's just getting tired marking them all. Um, so what the hoggers saw or realized that if you came in and instead of focusing on the outer path for hog padding, if you just wipe this out with, you know, go we two golems actually, and then drove the middle with the with your hog team, right? Then you could have a much more effective, you know, where it might move through there. And that's six buildings to go down. Plus, you know, they'll come to the Tesla. You might help over here. That's a good hog path. So, you know, at that point, it makes hogging viable. Uh, plus, it, it basically circumvents all the spring traps and big bombs that they had around the outer side. So, you know, given that, let's take a look at the attack and see if it seems to be more effective than the prior 99 Dragoon. So we'll put it up to two times speed. And, you know, the usual pulling out the clan castle with the two hogs goes down. We drag, we're going to drag it over to 9 o'clock uh, to make the kill. Looks like we're doing the usual witches in the CC with the wizards on the side. That's very nicely done, by the way. Very good. Uh, and then here comes the interesting part. I was actually pause this because it's kind of somewhat unique. A lot of people say go we, and they they think of more of I don't know what they're thinking when they say go we ho. But you know the the usage here of focusing on the fact that all the defensive buildings outside of the moat are very accessible from walking. It's easy padding. So one golem's actually going to move this way with some wizards behind it, kind of taking out the stuff as it goes, and the other golem does the same thing. Takes a path like this while the wizards, you know, truck along behind it, try to take out this other stuff. Uh, that's what's unique. You don't see that very often, uh, and that's what ends up happening. So, take a look. Hmm. So, whenever you see a base with a moat with the stuff outside, this could be an option if you didn't like 99 Dragoon. But we're trying to figure out which one's better. So, at this point, we basically achieved what we mentioned in the beginning. Look at how far. We basically cleared everything back almost 180 degrees. So the drive team of the hogs is pretty well cleared out. And I suspect, let's resume it, I suspect the hogs will not die in the mid. There's one, two, I guess that's we are correct because all the spring traps were on the outside. Four, so that was six buildings. Which is usually what we're looking for with a hog run. Six in one run or two runs of three. And he's got way more than that. He's got seven buildings down now, and now he's helping out with the rest. So it's basically a very well run attack. And you can kind of tell, I think more stuff survived, allowing for more error, is why we measure that, than the 99 Dragoon. So now the question which one is better? They both look pretty good. I just don't know, but at the end of the day, we did take a look at the stats that I'll show you here in a second, and that led us to believe you should lean towards the Go We Ho. <laughs> Sorry, all you air air lords, I'm with you, but <laughs> let me show you the stats, and you'll see why. So here are the stats, thanks to Colonel Mustard for putting them together, and you can see actually a couple things. One. We did do a go wipe to begin, and that was a kosh, and he did three star. Uh, so the base was actually go wipeable as well. I said in the commentary that you know we look for a dense base, but the other thing that enables a go wipe is a very open base, which that base was. And so maybe I need to look at the tree from that perspective because he clearly did get go wiped. Uh, but also you can see that Rockthar did not have his barbarian queen, right? Barbarian queen. <laughs> His king. 
He didn't have his queen, so, or his king, so he, it was clearly a much better attack than you would think. But in the end, look at the numbers right here. This is the Goey Ho at 2,900 HP left from the units on the field. Rockthar had around 17, 1650. If you add in the king, it might be around 1800, and the Go Wipe was at around 1850. So, clearly a difference between the Go Wipe and the Dragoon jumping up to the Go Wee Ho. The efficiency of the, the last one there is far better. All right, that wraps up this cage match. If you liked what you saw, give me a five hanging off a tree out in the comments on YouTube. Otherwise, good luck in your clan wars. I'll talk to you soon.